In the next several videos, we're going to need to reset your machine multiple times. And in order to prepare to do that, let's preserve your sanity at least a little bit. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to disable services and applications that you do not need running while you're trying to both benchmark and dial in the performance of your system. Back on Project Red Star here, and the first place that we are going to start is actually your task manager. So if you right click here on the taskbar, select this option right here, task manager. Now, if you see it collapse like this, just click more details because you have to go to this tab, startup. And you'll see here, I have every single thing disabled. Why? I am still dialing in the performance of this system. And because of that, I have to restart a fair number of times. Now, I use OneDrive. I use Zoom. I certainly use Adobe. And this is also Adobe. And this is also Adobe. I use GeoG Galaxies. That's my main launcher. But for testing purposes, I disable all of these. And to do that, you simply right click and select disable. And that turns off all of these great things. And then the other thing that I want you to do I want you to click over here into services and scroll down to Windows Search. It's just called W Search. And I want you to click Open Services. That's going to open up yet another services menu. Scroll down, Windows Search. You'll see mine is disabled. What this is designed to do is index all of the files, all of the content, all of the things on your system, it'll even read the information in it so that when you're searching, it's easier to find what you're looking for. But this service kicks off every single time you start Windows, and I have found that it can use up to 10% of my processor of a 5950X. It's using 10%, and it'll do that for several minutes, up to five, I've noticed, if it's been a long time since I've actually let this run. I don't want to wait five minutes for this thing to complete. So for now, again, just like with the task manager item, I've disabled that. To do that, you click properties and then there's this drop down, and you simply select disabled. Apply, because I always apply before I hit OK, just in case. So that's the services. Now, the last thing that I want you to do is I want you to look at the power profile that you are using. So go to power plan. And I want you to just make sure that you have either high performance turned on and applied, or if you are using balance like I'm doing here, that things like min processor state is 100, system cooling policy is active, PCI state is at least this, if not off. And then if you're using wireless, that maximum performance is turned on here as well. So I want you to make sure that at least you're using this particular power plan. We'll go into a different power plan later, but for the purposes that we're going to be testing with here, we don't want things trying to go into power saving when we're benchmarking and trying to dial things in. So those are the settings that I would recommend. They're going to save you a little bit of time and ultimately help you get your testing done faster. And you'll just have to remember to go back and turn them back on. And these changes are absolutely critical when it comes to trying to dial in your RAM. And there's going to be some additional programs that I'm going to recommend that are going to help you do exactly that. And in the next video right there, we're going to go over exactly what those applications are and how to use them.